Hey guys, so today I'm filming my Valentine's Day makeup, hair and outfit video for you. Before I start, I'd like to say thank you all so much for subscribing and for all the support you've been giving me. It's just, I'm so, so happy and I wish I could give you all like little presents and little cuddles. But I can't, but the only thing I can do is do giveaways and things like that. So today I'm giving away one of my favourite blushes ever by MAC. It's called Melba. I went and picked one up for you guys yesterday. This is my one. I used it in this tutorial so you can see how it looks. But it's just a really nice peachy blush and I think everyone should have this in their makeup collection. Um, it will suit all skin tones so that's why I thought it's a good giveaway present. So if you guys want to enter the giveaway, all the rules will be down in the description box below and it will be an international giveaway. So wherever you are, I will ship this out to you and then we can both have one each. So make sure to check down in the description box below to see how you can enter to win this blush. And now if you want to see how I'm going to do my hair, makeup and what outfit I'm wearing on Valentine's Day, then keep on watching! So all the products I'm using will be listed down in the description box below, so check there. I'm going to voice over this part only because I don't want this video to be super long. But yeah, I'm using um, my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, which I love so much, and the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, yeah, that's what it's called. And I've done reviews on both of these products, so I'll leave both of those links down in the description box below for you if you haven't seen that video. So I'm just blending it out. My lips were really dry so I applied some lip balm. And then I'm going to use two concealers. I like the MAC one to cover up the dark circles. But I like the Benefit one just to highlight the area. So I like mixing them both together. And then with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer I put that around my lips too. Because it's quite dark there. So I like to just conceal all that and then blend it out some more. I am going to use some powder just to set the concealer into place and I like to do this because it prevents the creasing underneath my eyes and then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and then set it all in place with the brow gel. Here I'm just applying some bronzer and this bronzer is so nice, it's from the body shop and it's really really creamy, I really really like it and just blending it all in. For blush I'm using Max Melba and this is my favourite ever MAC blush and I just love it, it's just the perfect peachy tone, it has no shimmer in it, it's just so lovely, it just gives a natural colour to your skin and I just love it so much. Just blending everything in with this big powder brush. I'm just going to apply some highlighter on the top of my cheekbones and just down the bridge of my nose and a bit of my forehead too. So I've zoomed you guys in so you can see exactly what I'm doing to my eyes. I've started off by priming my eyelids and I've used MAC Soft Ochre and I love this paint pot so much. So it just acts as a base. Using the same bronzer for my cheeks, I'm going to use this as a transition shade in my crease. And I'm just using the MAC 217 brush to do so. And I'm just blending this out, just above the crease as well. I'm also bringing this down onto the main lid, just to set this um, paint pot that I applied before. So just patting that in. I'm going to take Swiss Chocolate, which is by MAC, and the same blending brush, and just apply this just into the crease. Then I'm taking Coppering, which is a really nice coppery bronze colour. I love this colour so much. And I'm just going to apply this onto my eyelids with the MAC 239 brush. So I'm just going to pack it onto the brush and then pat it onto my eyelids. And if you want this eyeshadow to be more vibrant and more out there, you can spray your brush with the MAC Fix Plus 
or you can use contact lens solution and then pack it on, it will look really really nice as well. And I'm just going to use this black eyeshadow for the outer V and just make this look a bit smoky. With dark eyeshadows or even black eyeshadows, what I find is that if you start by using less product and then build it up, I don't know if that makes any sense, but use less, blend it out and then use more. Does that make any sense? But yeah, you guys will see what I mean. And then going in with the blending brush and just blending it out. And then I'm going to apply more and then build it up. So I'll keep on doing this until I'm happy with how smoky the eye looks. And then I'm going to go in with the clean blending brush and just blend it into the eyeshadows that I've already applied. I like blending everything together because I think it looks really nice and neat, if you do. I'm now going to apply some eyeliner. Now I'm going to line my waterline, and I'm just going to go in with this pointy brush and just blend it out. What I find with using fake lashes is when you apply the glue, let it sit on the lashes for a little while and then apply it so when it's tacky rather than when it's slippery because then it goes everywhere. So just let it sit out for a little while, blow on it and then apply it. So what I like to do is just look down into a mirror and then just place the eyelashes on. You can use your fingers or tweezers if you want. And then I take a back of the makeup brush and just push it down. Once that is set in place, I like to go back in with my eyeliner and go over my eyeliner. And then taking some mascara, I'm just going to blend in my lashes with the fake lashes. So this is the finished makeup look and now I'm going to show you how I'm going to do my hair. I'm so sorry about the lighting in this video guys, the sun keeps going in and out of the clouds and I can't control it, so I'm so sorry about that. But for my hair, I'm going to just straighten it with my GHDs and I don't usually like using heat tools in my hair but because it's Valentine's Day, I'm going to do it. Um, I don't want it to be dead straight, I'm just going to go through it really quickly. And when there's heat in my hair, I like to just push it up, just to give a bit of volume to my hair. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Batiste Dry Shampoo just to the roots of my hair, just to add a bit more volume. So I just play around with my hair until I'm happy with it. And I'm happy. So now on to the outfit. I decided to wear a play suit this Valentine's Day because the last three Valentines I've been with two where I've been wearing dresses so I thought I should change it up. Yeah, so I'm wearing um, this play suit from Topshop. I really, really like it. It's got like this floral print on it and I just think it's nice and girly. And i um, just wearing tights because it's freezing in London. Like I'm really, really cold all the time. But yeah, so my tights are from... Primark I think, I don't know, but they're really nice and cosy. My shoes are from New Look and they're really really cosy, I really like these and they're comfortable to walk in and my clutch is from Aldo, I got this as a present for Christmas and I really like it. Um, my watch is Michael Kors, got a couple of rings on from H&M and my necklace is from New Look. 
Also guys, another reason why I love this play suit and the main reason why I got it is because of the back of the play suit. It has this lace detail on it and I just think it's super, super girly and it's just really cute. So I love that. don't know if you'll be able to see that, but I really like it. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this video and thank you again for all your support. Make sure to enter the giveaway and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!